Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson looking at the cosine rule, which is uh, what we pretty much look to use if the Sokotoa doesn't work or the sine rule doesn't work, this is our only other option. Now I know it looks really confusing with all these different rules in, in your book, um, but to be honest, the only rule you need for finding a side is that top one and for finding an angle is that first one. The, all the other ones there, they're just variations of the, those, that first initial rule. Now, to help us, I'm going to go through a particular, just an example, uh, and then look at some actual questions that we've got from the textbook. So, I'm going to throw up a uh, an example here. First of all, for a uh, a side, we might do. I'm going to call that six centimeters. We'll do that as twelve centimeters, and we'll do that as thirty-five degrees. So. My format, number one, as I've done before, we look for soccer toa. You know, is it a right angled triangle? Well, the answer is no. So number two, can we use the sine rule? So the sine rule says I've got a side and it's opposite angle, no. Side opposite angle, well I've got that one, that's okay. Side opposite angle, no, no, I can't use the sine rule, not gonna happen. So then the third thing we look for is our cosine rule which looking at this it looks like we can because we've got three sides and we've got the opposite angle and notice that the x the angle is opposite the one that we're trying to find that's really important now i'm going to go back to that original rule that said something like this a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos of a now a couple of things here now this is the one that we're trying to find, right? In this case, that's our x. You'll notice that the cos angle, cos a, is opposite little a. So the angle that you're using for cos a is always opposite the side that you're looking to find. The b and the c are the two uh, sides next to the angle. And you can see there that it doesn't really matter which one you do first. Okay, so if I'm trying to put this one into action, I'm going to put x squared equals 12 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 12 times 6 times the cos of 35. Um, and to be honest, guys, that's not particularly hard. Like, you'll get used to it pretty quick. So, I know it looks daunting to start with, but it does get easy pretty uh, pretty quickly. So I'm going to top that into my calculator, making sure that I don't make any errors and making sure I'm doing cos 35, not sine. Now, what you'll get here is x squared equals 62.042 dot dot dot. Now, I've got 6 and 12 there. 62 is a pretty big side. That doesn't look right. And the reason for that is it's x squared, not x. So how to get rid of the squared? We square root. If I do that, I get 7.88 to two decimal places, and that's centimeters. Alrighty. So that's the version that we would probably use if uh, if we're looking for a particular side. Now, the other thing is sometimes we're given questions like this, where I'm going to put theta in um, six. I'm going to do 10 and 12. Now in this case, once again, I'm going to go through my rules. Sokotoa, we cannot use because it's not right angled. I'm going to look for the sine rule. We've got uh, one angle and an opposite side, but no other angles for the opposite side. So that can't work either. So we're going to look for the cosine rule. Now I look to my formula sheet. I know I'm looking for an angle. So it won't be the um, a squared equals b squared plus c squared. It's going to be the one that said cos a equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared all over 2bc. Noticing that the cos a, the angle, and the little a, which is being subtracted, are opposite each other. So once again, if I'm looking at my triangle here, the b and the c are the 12 and the 10, the included angles. The a, which I'm subtracting, is opposite the theta. So you can sort of see what's going on there. So for my rule, we're going to put in here cos theta equals 12 squared plus 10 squared. Doesn't matter which way you do that, but it does matter about which one you're subtracting. Minus is 6 squared all over 2 times 12 times 10. So be very careful about which one you're minusing. And then on the bottom, of course, it's 
the first two you're multiplying by. So I'm going to chuck that into my calculator just as is and making sure that we're putting in exactly as it reads. And then the other thing you might notice is that your answer is going to be really small. That again is because you've got what cos theta is. In this case 0 0.8666 dot dot dot. Now we want to find out what theta is. Remember we're finding an angle so we need to press shift cos. I'm going to press my answer button and then it comes out to be 29.9 degrees. Alrighty. Okay, so I want you to pause. I want you to pause this stuff. I'm going to give you a question and I want you to have a crack at this and see how you go. Okay, so hopefully we've got x squared equals 6 squared plus 12 squared minus uh, 2 times 6 times 12 times the cos of 76. x squared equals, so I'm going to chuck that into my calculator now. And I'll get 145.16 dot dot dot. I'm now going to press my square root button, answer, and I get to two decimal places, 12.05, and it's no units, so I'm going to put units on there. Okay, nice and easy. All right. The next one. Okay, again, um, you can pause this one if you would like and see how you go. Okay, now number one with this question, you will notice there was no diagram. So hopefully you were able to do that successfully. Um, I'm going to draw it here. So Samuel shoots for goal. So I'm going to put some goals here. When he's two and a half minutes from one post and 3.2 from another. So I'm going to put that there as uh, 2.5 meters. I'm going to put that line there as 3.2. Remember, always looking to draw a triangle. Um, it says the goal is two meters wide, which is that one there. What is the size of the angle theta for him to score the goal? This is where he is. So he can go from that way to that way. So we're looking for that angle around there. So I've got my diagram. Now we're finding theta. So remember, we're using the cos theta rule. We'll be subtracting the 2 because it's opposite the theta. So I'm going to do 2.5 squared plus 3.2 squared minus 2 squared all over, and then it's 2 times the first 2, so which is 2.5 and 3.2. Now again, that will give me what cos theta is. So again, I'm going to put it into my calcul calculator, plus 3.2 squared minus 2 squared, and then 2 times 2.5 times 3.2. Okay, now we get there 0 0.78. I'm going to press shift cos, my answer button, and I get 38 degrees, or it's the nearest minute, so 38 degrees and 41 minutes. So I kind of skipped a couple of steps there, but I did it on my own calculator. But you can, again, you can make sure if you get a really small angle, like zero point something, you haven't probably pressed shift. So press shift, the cos, answer button, and you get your answer. Okay, look, I hope this made sense, folks. Please practice this. This is like the last, um, I guess, way to find a uh, an unknown angle. Um, and, or an unknown side. So again, always go first, look for Sokotoa. Is it right angled? Yes, we use it. No, we look for the sine rule, which is two sides and the opposite angles. If that doesn't work, then our last resort is going to be our cosine rule. Okay, have an awesome day, guys, and I hope this uh, was a bit useful to you.